effects now. Come on, sound effects. Oh, wait, let me. I need to go turn off the music. Okay. 
I'll turn everything down. How is nine? Is nine too quiet? Or is it to speak? Ah! How is nine? Where am I? Oh! Perfect. Gorgeous. You know what? I'm just gonna like... No <laughs> look. Okay. I discovered something. Oh? You discover your... If I hold your... If I hold his wing, his wing stops moving. Specifically, I guess it's not every every day that people are typically living under a night sky all the time. <laughs> well, that's only in Vesperia. In uh, the neighboring countries, it's different. Oh, I mean, I, I guess I should have. Made the connection. It's, it's daytime in the middle of your castle. I, I, it used to not be. It's um, where I grew up. It was daytime and nighttime, rather than just a continuous night sky. So I. Specifically, asked for a spell to be put around the castle so that it could have the same day night cycle. I can imagine it gets pretty confusing if you didn't know it, considering growing up within a normal day night cycle and then suddenly always night. <laughs> yes, it, it was very jarring when I first came into this period. Understandably so. Hmm. You do have to keep that a, a secret, though. I don't think many of the... I don't think many people would be very happy knowing I'm not born of the best burial. Um, secret safe with me, I don't really have a reason to share it. Plus, you, I, we will probably never see each other again once you leave. Yeah, exactly. I suppose that's why it's so easy to speak with you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm giving all your dark secrets out now, while I'm here, <laughs> till I disappear, <laughs> presumably. Same way I got here. It'll be odd when you're gone, especially since your counterpart looks identical to you. Well, let's hope I don't... Actually, 
It is a bit strange that we haven't bumped into him. Considering he has a room here and I've been here for a few days. Hmm. It's very odd. He's never left my side since... Well, aside from sleeping and the regular things where we would need to be apart. But aside from that, he's never left my side since he was hired. Mm. You don't think something happened, did you? I hope not. Mm. He seems capable enough, though. Mm. Um, I guess I'll just keep hoping for the best for you. Mm. You never know, perhaps he's trying to, um... Foil some plot against my life somewhere. <laughs> you know, that would make sense if, if he is like a bodyguard, as you say. Yes. I just imagine him running through those doors being like, Your Highness, uh, there is a plot against your life. I have uh, brought the criminals forward. <laughs> I'm bringing the, bringing the criminals right to you, wow. It would definitely be a change of pace. No, I mean, I'd, I'd say this is pretty much a, a good change of pace if you'd, if you'd ask me. <laughs> Considering I'm not really for me, but you know. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if perhaps <laughs> it might be an idea to maybe speak with the Magi around here and see if we can find a way for you to possibly visit after you return to your world. Or time or whatever as such. If you would like to have me. I think it's been a I can't guarantee I'd be around all the time. Well, presumably not. You have your own things to do. Yes. <laughs> I think it's been a pleasant experience. It's <laughs> you're the first person in a very long time to treat me as an equal, rather than lower or higher than their status. <laughs> yeah, I guess it just doesn't really. Click in my head. No, I mean, I. Considering you from my world as a goddess, it's. I, I, I kind of treat her the same way. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. I, mean, I don't know. One well, day I could give you help. It's, it's rather odd that hearing her status. <laughs> it's, it, the deities in this world are more talk. The, the, the rulers are more like deities in themselves, rather than, you know. I mean, I can see how, if that is sort of how life has been going on, it is a bit strange. I mean, she's my first encounter, it was my first encounter with the goddess, so. First. So, uh, I'm assuming you've met more. Yes, it, it came it came after meeting her, it's her family. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware that gods had families. Well, I wasn't aware we had gods. <laughs> so. Touché. I'm curious if we have our own now. I mean, you never know. It's always some sort of mystery lurking about. True. Very true. I wonder if it's one of the gods who brought you that brought you to me. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I've heard of some other ones, but I, I've never encountered them other than her family. How many people are around the castle? Clearly, 
Clearly, it's not just you. Well, of course not. Uh, most of the servants stick to the hidden exits and entrances, so they tend to stay out of sight. Ah, you see. Yes. It was rules enforced by the previous queen, but I suppose the servants still haven't gotten out of the habit. Yeah, could be something passed down if someone born into the castle. I don't know really how it works, but yeah, kind of like family beliefs and whatnot. It does feel rather lonely. Even my handmaiden seems to have disappeared recently. I think she may be a tad intimidated by you. I'm really not that scary, I promise. Well... Although, so... I am kind of a stranger to everyone else. To her defense, her meeting with the other version of you was not, um... not pleasant. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> and how did that go? Well... <laughs> let's just say... Um... Things could have gone a lot worse had she not dropped her weapon. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. To make sure my bodyguard was capable, um, so I feigned being a civilian, well, more, more so a staff here at Castle, and um, we faked a hostage situation. Um, <laughs> I can see how that would end very poorly if not. Yeah. <laughs> to find his way to the treasury, which is a secret. Um, I wasn't originally going to give him the position, but my handmaiden, Kayla, she convinced me. Although, she's still very intimidated by him. That's, um, a, a bit alarming. Has he worked in the castle prior or something? Not to my knowledge. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this was his first time in Vesteria. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, I guess good luck with him. I hope he doesn't find any more secrets that he's not supposed to. Well, I've taken him through a few secret hidden passageways, but um, that's more for emergency situations. So he knows how to escape. Yeah. Right, yeah. To escape. Right. Last thing you want is me uh, fainting, fainting, or being unconscious somehow, and him not knowing how to safely escort me out of the castle. Yeah, yeah really. Considering that's his job. Hmm. It was a very odd day. I believe it. Probably abrupt. There. Seems to be a trend. Odd meetings between yours. Yeah. Well, let's let's hope uh, another version of me doesn't get pulled from their world then into yours again. Starting to question how that even happened to begin with to replicate the results. I don't know. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> All I know is that it happened. <laughs> Understandable. <clears throat> so, do you have any idea of how you're going to return? Well, I've been trying to think. I've kind of gone through some of the books here. I, I don't think I was going to find anything that I did not. Mm. Well, what are the events leading up to your departure? Mm. Well, I was on my ship. 
was flying into her realm. And when I got through the barrier, there was a bright light, and then I ended up here. I don't know what happened. Maybe something with the barrier, but I don't know. That's, that's my only assumption. What is the barrier meant to do? I think it's meant to keep things out. I mean, it's a solid barrier, and I've accidentally crashed a few holes into it. But I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out a way to fix it. Crashing through the barrier of a boundary set by a god, or a goddess, that's an achievement in itself. Yeah, sure, achievement is the word for it. And regardless, it was an accident. There's one thing I could try to do, Which is? Achieving uh, a pen a long time ago gave me access to a realm. I don't know if it's going to work here. Tried that previously? Nope. In your position, that would be my first instinct. I. I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> you forgot about a magic pendant gifted to you by a deity. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're caught up in a panic. And also, my first assumption was not that I got transported to another world, it was that I went somewhere in time until I saw you. And you very clearly were doing things at my boot camp. Come on. Well, I mean, she can't walk out in the sun. Right. She also isn't a queen, she's a goddess. And I'm sure devotion. You didn't. Maybe, but it's just I don't know. The story didn't line up. It would. It, I don't think it would make very much sense. <laughs> but also, you didn't know what the realm was. Another Idis. 
It's a lot more comforting. Understandable. <laughs> it's too bad that this is what gonna try it. <laughs> it's too bad that by the time you leave, I don't think my uh, my bodyguard will be back. He seems to be elsewhere for a while. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Disappointing. I would have loved for him to meet you. Could probably take a few pointers in uh, social interaction. <laughs> I, I wish I could be here to teach him, but you're right. It doesn't really. I, I feel like he would have come back by now. Hmm. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I suppose so. I'll find a way to come back. Even if just for like a day. Then I will look forward to that day. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it was crashing through the barrier that today. I shall tell him you slept with I. I think he might be a little angry about that one. <laughs> Considering I am technically, we are still technically strangers just by knowing each other, kind of. <laughs> I don't think he would rather care. Oh, well, maybe not. I would be surprised if he did. Only an assumption. Again, I don't know. You, clearly, I don't know your chronos, but. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll try to figure out how to come back. Mm -hmm. Assuming this works. It was a pleasure to meet you, other guess. <laughs> It was a pleasure spending the week in your odd presence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> Are you sure you have everything now? Well, now you're making me nervous. <laughs> what about that magic blade that you had? Have you, have you taken that with you? Oh no, that's... Oh, that's just something I can summon. Mm. Did I forget anything? <laughs> I, I don't think I did, but you're, you're making me second guess myself. <laughs> no, I, I think I have everything. Hmm. Well, I don't want to stay there. Oh, okay.
She's holding a little bracelet made of flowers that are glowing with magic. A parting gift. Oh. It's not like. It's glowing. <laughs> I enjoyed Just it like... with magic. Just regular Twilight magic, <laughs> just so that the... it doesn't wilt. The flowers. Oh, oh <laughs> they're, they're real flowers. I see. Well, I'll, I'll try not to accidentally kill them, despite the fact that you said they'll never will. <laughs> well, as long as you keep them well fed with the twilight, they should be fine. Well fed with twilight? Well, okay. I, I'll see what I can do about that one. I might have to ask, I guess. <laughs> Just, um, treat them the same way you would any other plant, but instead of sunlight, twilight. Oh, alright, I see what you mean. <laughs> I wish I had a parting gift. You know what? That'll be the goal. I will bring a gift in return. I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> great. Well, hopefully this works. I'll be heading out though. Until next time. And the world exploded. Damn. <laughs> See, tear yourself up a little. Whoops. Sorry, I don't check the chat much when I'm in character. How is this? Is this loud enough? <clears throat> I hope you guys. 
it's copyright music. <laughs> this is definitely copyright. Nice. And this little birdie starts speaking up a little, so it was all right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, <coughs> uh, Queenie is more confident than normal void, so she would naturally speak louder. I was about to start reading your post out loud, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I shouldn't do that, no one else is going to understand if I'm not about. Mm-hmm. 